Good morning, everybody, and Happy New Year's Eve. Today is December the 31st, 2018. The last day of 2018. There goes my wife pulling out right there. I'm headed out, too. I am headed to Arizona for the over-the-counter archery mule deer hunt um, and maybe coos deer. You can hunt both on this license. This tag it starts tomorrow, January 1st. I'm excited. I'm going to go down there and meet up with my buddy Ben Sandal. Last year, I was very fortunate on this tag to harvest this good buck five days into the hunt, and I'm looking forward to trying to repeat it and be successful on another mature mule deer. So plan for this hunt is to try to find a mature buck. If I kill on this hunt, then I will have to wait a whole calendar year to be able to hunt deer in Arizona again, and I would like to hunt coos in the fall. So I'm gonna be fairly picky. Plan is to go down, see as many deer as we can, look them over, find something that I like, and hopefully get a chance to put a stock in on some of these bucks. So that being said, another adventure. I'm looking forward to it. You guys ready? Let's go. This is Page, Arizona, all right? It's supposed to be sunny, and there's not supposed to be snow. But as you can see, it's cloudy and cold, and there's snow everywhere. So what the heck, Arizona? I come down here to hunt in nice weather conditions, and you put this crap on me? Just got done buying an over-the-counter archery deer tag for a non-resident with a license for the new year, 460 bucks. Ouch. It's a lot of money. The chick at the counter was like, oh, that's a lot of money. Like, yeah, it is. But, you gotta do something this time of year. I got my last junk food meal of 2018, and uh, today is New Year's Eve, and tomorrow I start the Mountain Ops 90 Day Challenge. I'm going hard, the diet, the exercise. I bought a bunch of healthy food while I was at Walmart. So I'm gonna have a couple Jack in the Box tacos and uh, Oreo shake, and then starting tomorrow, back off sugar, low carb, high protein, and exercise. So it's gonna be a fun one, we'll see how we do. Good morning, you guys, and happy new year. It is cold. Seriously, there's like probably eight, 10 inches of snow up here, and it is cold. I uh, slept good at the hotel, slept warm, got up early and got up here, and um, mostly just been cruising and glassing this morning. There's been a lot of sets of deer tracks across on the road, um, but I haven't seen a big track yet. I'm, I'm looking, actually, what I'm trying to do is find a big deer track, and then I would like to go see if I can follow one in the snow and find the buck that's making the track. It's kind of the plan for today, just to kind of get to get a feel for where the deer are at in the unit. Um, I'll be hunting this unit today and tomorrow, and then I'm gonna go meet up with my buddy Ben, and we're gonna hunt maybe a different unit, or maybe over here for a couple days, whatever, we'll see. But, drive around, look for tracks, track deer in the snow, it's fun. I like hunting in the snow, I don't get to do it very much, and I definitely don't get to do it very much with a bow, so always makes for good time and beautiful scenery. You guys ever done this Arizona over-the-counter archery deer tag? If you have, comment below. Tell me a little bit about your experiences with it, if you liked it, if you had success or not. I know it's a tough hunt, but it's a fun hunt. So I'm just gonna keep after it, see if we can go find a buck. I ended up changing units. Um, I hunted yesterday in that deep snow. Um, the whole day I saw one doe and one fawn. I saw some deer tracks, but I saw a lot of people. So I talked to my buddy Ben, 
and uh, he told me to come check out this spot kind of by where we hunted last year and where I killed the deer last year. Got over here, there's a lot less snow and there looks to be a lot more deer just from the sign that's around. So I'm gonna spend the day here by myself and then tomorrow Ben's gonna join up and we're gonna hunt this stuff for a couple days. So I'm gonna go on a big walk. Um, there's a bunch of tall ridges so I'm just gonna start hiking, get up on one of these ridges and just glass and move throughout the day. See if I can turn up a buck that's worth chasing. There are some coos deer in this area. We saw a couple here last year. So that would be cool to get a chance at a coos buck. I'll shoot any coos buck, but I'll only shoot like a mature mule deer. I say that, but you watch, give me a two point stand around. I might just, just smoke him. So also there's sheds in this country. We picked a couple up last time we were here. So let's get after it. Yeah, you guys, so you know what these are for, right? Let me just show you. You cold out here, you think? You need a drink of water, huh? Nice. So, uh, you guys thirsty? Thirsty? Well, that's what we're dealing with today. Is, uh, it's so freaking cold out here. Well, you guys, I'm picking across this hill, headed up to glass. And I saw something and I'm like, man, it looks like an elk tine sticking up right here. I don't know what it is, if it's a busted piece or what, but got an elk horn right here. And I'll tell you, I'd rather find that than a deer. <laughs> Check this out. Not a real big one, but freaking sweet. Last year's brown. Booyah. Just a rag horn. But I'll tell you, I'm only like uh, 200 yards above the truck. So if I could find some more of those, that'd make my day. <laughs> Heck yes. Well, right, let's go see if we can find a deer to hunt. And if not, I'll just look for horns. I just came around the corner and there was like 10 deer right here. Got to 60 yards on them, I didn't see a buck. But they just kinda walked over the hill, so I'm gonna go loop around and see if I can't get back on them and see them again. I'm gonna loop around the hill and see if I can't catch them. That was so freaking close. I just had a big four point. Oh, there he is, I'm gonna show you guys. He's out in the flat right there with all his does. Solid, solid buck. I had him run by me just barely at a... He came by me at 40, but he didn't stop. No shot. He's ruddy, he's not scared, he's just chasing his does. There he is, solid. Like a 170 type deer. Let's see if I can make another move on him.
that was fun. I went to cut that buck off after they crossed the flat and it's just this thick, I mean, you guys saw how thick it was, but that was a different deer. Um, the buck that I was pursuing, sorry, let me hold this still. The buck that I was going after, he had a tripod on the backside making him a five by four. This buck was just a straight, I think he was just a straight four point. Like I'll have to watch the video and see, but I got a pretty look at his antlers, but like a 170 type deer, really pretty four point. Had him at 45 yards there and couldn't see, all I could see was his head and his neck and his antlers. And I couldn't even see enough of his neck to even think about shooting. So tried to get an angle on him and away he went. So I'm gonna loop back out to where I can see and I'm gonna get on the opposite side hill and see if I can glass over into here and see where these deer are. So it's so fun when you finally get into them, you guys, after a couple days of running around, I'm on them. spike right here. I could have killed him twice already. That. Didn't see a buck with that herd. Which I think that's the first group of does I've seen without a buck. They're rutting pretty good. All the bucks I've seen have had their nose to the ground and been chasing, so. I guess my battery light's flashing, so I'll just talk till it goes, but look at this. Look at this, guys. That's so beautiful. That's the reason. I remember I used to get super sentimental about it, and I would have just like this yearning to see beautiful things, and it would like take over everything. And I hope it's something that I never lose. It's definitely less frequent now that I spend so much time out here, but like every once in a while you see a view like that and it just catches you. That view. Unreal. I'm so blessed. I'm so lucky. And it's because of you guys that I'm able to do this. So thank you. Thank you for supporting me. Thanks for buying my apparel. Thanks for supporting the companies that I work with and for just watching. So I think that's gonna do it, especially because my battery light's flashing, but one of the funnest days I've had in a long time. I chased deer pretty much the whole day. Um, I saw some beautiful views. I had fun, and that's all we can ask for. So I think I'm gonna do a few different videos, so this will probably be the end of this video. Tomorrow my buddy Ben's coming out. He's got some spots he wants to check out, some deer he wants to chase. So thank you guys for tuning in and watching this video. Thank you guys for following along with what I'm doing. Hope you guys are having a great new year. Please subscribe to the channel, and I will see you tomorrow.